Hello everyone, welcome back to Phil's Salvage Rebuilds and um, today again we're going to be working on the Monte Carlo so I hope you're all keeping well, keeping indoors out of, um, do you know what's going on out there so let's crack on before we do though, like I said in every video if you like this stuff please do consider subscribing to the channel thumbs up for the video and press that bell notification and then you're notified of every future video that comes on so let's get going right so the plan for today, I'm thinking we will rebuild the complete front end on this car so we need to change out the front panel there's not a lot of damage on it but you know it's it's misshaped there it's got that bracket missing that's that's what they had light fixes to it's got the big crack down there again it's misshaped up here and it is pushed over to the left a little bit this front panel because as the bonnet shuts, as the latch lands in there, the bonnet gets dragged to the left a little bit, which is why we had that uneven gap down both sides. And you can also see it's actually bent over the latch a little bit as well. So we can straighten that up and hopefully with the new front panel on, we'll get our nice even gap with the bonnet on again then because there's no damage to these wings, no damage to the inner wings, nothing has moved there's no chassis leg damage so there's no reason why it won't line up with the new front panel on so obviously with the front panel we're going to swap out the crash bar Got the crash bar there again not much damage to this crash bar it's just bent under this side but we do have a bumper mount in there that's what the bumper mounts to uh, so obviously we need to replace this so that bumper mount comes back out here and the bumper sits in the right place so I'm hoping that we won't have to remove the radiators or the aircon rad or anything on this. There appears to be a fix in here. Let me get the torch. This fixing pulls in. It's that white bush. And that white bush is, is, is holding all the, um, you know, the rad pack in. So I'm thinking as long as we remove them fi that fix in and that fixing, the front panel should come away and leave all the radiators and the um, intercooler in place or oh, that's the plan because I don't want to drain the coolant or the aircon so that's what I'm going to try to do we're going to have to swap over the uh, bonnet latch we've got to take the horn off down there so, or do we? oh no we don't sorry the horn's attached to the end plate or the chassis leg so that's fine just going to pull back this wiring for the outside temp sensor and then um, just the fixings up here Sh uh, obviously the fixings in the end of the chassis leg say on this side and then hopefully that front will come off so I'll whack you on some time lapse and uh, see if we can get the front off plan worked guys we got it off and we've got all the rad packs still in pace so no um, no coolant lost no aircon lost so that's a result that and you know we talked about this not being that badly damaged but if you look at it now just look how out of shape that is that's you know <laughs> massively bent look down it it's hard to really get a judge but if you, if you line up the bottom with the top how bad that is it's very bent put it that way so 
Got a few little bits to swap over. I just need to push these little rubber bungs out. I can't do it with one hand, so uh, we need that little bracket. I think that's it then. And then we can start on putting the new one back on. So I'll probably do the same as I did with this one. I'll probably fix the crash bar onto the new one first. They fix on down there, two on each side, one under, one over. And then put the whole thing in in one piece again. So I'll swap these three bits over. Oh, excuse me, swap these three bits over. And then we will time lapse that new one back on. Well, we're making great progress in a very short amount of time. Okay, well, like I said, that I don't think that could have got any better, to be honest. Straight on again. Um, very easy to remount the radiator and stuff. They have two locators underneath there, one on each end. And then, like I said, you have to fix through them, which I haven't put the screws in yet. And that basically just holds the radiator in place. And that's it. So I've got all the main fixings tight, I need to put the bonnet latch back in, run the bonnet cable, a couple of sensors and plugs, and obviously them two screws to hold the rad pack in. So I'll just fly through all them bits and pieces now, off camera, otherwise we end up with too much time lapse. And, uh, and then, show it you quickly and then we'll move on and we'll put the headlights in. And uh, you know they won't take long and before you know it we'll be putting the bumper on. Literally a very quick rebuild. Okay, there we go. So I've done all the last few bits. Got the latch in, latch cable, little plugs and bits and pieces. Fastened in your um, rad pack, and the uh, front panel's complete. And just to show what I was meaning about the um, panel gap on the bonnet and the front panel pulling it over. If we now shut this bonnet, oh. shut that gap out, nice and uniform, shut that gap out, nice and uniform and even to the other side. So that's that bonnet back now into the exact right position, so that just shows nothing else has moved, which is what we're after, which is good. So we'll plot the um, headlights back in now and then we'll go ahead and we'll put that bumper on because I'm thinking I'm going to repair the bumper in place on this one. Um, so yeah, I'll crack on now get headlights in. coming together now isn't it? I enjoy this part the most because it's good to start seeing the car coming back together and looking good again so yeah let's go, let's keep going, let's let's get this bumper on and then we can get the arch liners back in it's going to make it a bit more difficult to obviously repair the bumper in terms of painting 
but I'm not I'm not too fussed about that. The grill I think I can remove. I can mask the lights up. And you know, like I said, I'm hoping just to repair that side. So we can take the fog light out. And uh I think we'll be okay with it. We're gonna have to mask off the splitter anyway. And the trim up, up the wing, up the eye should I say. Because these appear to be bonded on. So I'd have to mask all that off, all that off anyway. All the way around. So yeah, yeah, I'll give it a go, see what happens. I want it back on. So let's get the bumper on. All right, you get the gist of it there. So um, I'll continue now and I'll fix up the rest of this front bumper. Um, throw all the splash guards in. And we will come back to you when this car is finished. Obviously it's not finished, but it'll look finished. Barring the little bit of a repair. Just around here. It's a shame really, it's literally nothing. I just need to sand it down and paint just this quarter i think i think we'll get away with that and then obviously we need to find somewhere to replace the window so if anyone knows anyone don't forget i'm near burnley i need a window fitting i don't fancy giving it a go like um mark did at uh, resurrect rebuilds um, <laughs> I don't fancy it I'll be honest with you he did well with his but um, I'm going to stay away from that so yeah anyone know anywhere that does windows front windscreens fitted put it in the comments let me know and um, I'll, get, I'll check them out for a quote I don't think one for this, this car will be too expensive. There's nothing, uh, no elements in it. There's no do auto wipers or auto lights or anything in this. So I can't imagine it'd be too expensive, really. But I'll finish up this bumper and uh, we'll call this one a wrap. Okay, there we go. So we've got it all back together now. Got the headlights all um, lined up. Bumpers all lined up, all fixed, all secured. So that's it really. Obviously now I need to ring up the windscreen place. Uh, I've found somewhere local, so I will see what the price is like. And um, we, I need to order some paint. And then just deal with that little corner there. And then I need to, like I said, still make a decision on these wheels exactly what to do with them. A couple aren't too bad but like I said it stands out so much because of the black. Just needs a very fine rub around the edge and then just paint it again so I might just do it myself. Get some gloss black. Gloss. Um, yeah don't know what I think about it. So that's it, yeah? Oh, looking good. Alright, there we go. What do you reckon? What a quick and easy build. Uh, I'll go through the prices obviously at some point. What I'll do now is I'll get the window place in. They can do the window. I will probably video the repair to the front. I uh, probably won't bother video in repairing the wheels. So we'll do one more video on this. It'll start off with the video with the video of repairing the front and then we'll go on to the uh, price breakdown and a nice few pictures of it all nice, clean and tidy. Ready to go for its new owner. So that's going to be it for this video. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>